Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to outline two different approaches for integrating machine learning in operational decisions. With the new 2022 release of Automation Decision Services, we have added a second uh, way of integrating machine learning, which is to import rule sets that have been trained from data. This is in addition to the prior support we had for invocation of remote machine learning models. So let's take a look at what this looks like and contrasting the true two approaches. What you're looking at here is an, a simple example. It's a mortgage approval decision. The top decision is whether to approve the mortgage or not. And then we have de decomposed that decision to sub decisions where we have lots of various business rules to compute the grade and the scores of various kinds. One particular score is called a risk score. It's not computed through rules. It's actually a prediction based on machine learning, a machine learning model trained on data. This risk score uses the borrower, borrower information and the loan information to make a estimation of how risky this application is. And I've inserted the two different approaches here so we can compare them. The first one is the traditional one we've had in ADS for a couple of releases, which is um, invocation of a remote machine learning model. So we can, looking into this predictive model here, we can see that this is connected to a sample machine learning provider, and it's connected to a specific machine learning model deployed on that ML service. The structure is very simple. We take the, the data of the loan, the, the, the borrower data, we do some mapping, and then we make basically an invocation of that machine learning model. Once we get the prediction back, we extract the risk score we want to have and return that to the, to the decision model we were at earlier. So that's the uh, traditional approach we have for making machine learning based uh, predictions in ADS. Going back to the top level, uh, I'll now show you the new approach, which is based on transparent machine learning, more specifically uh, based on importing a rule set to make the same prediction. Looking at this predictive model, it's kind of similar. Again, we take the loan and the borrower data, we do some input mapping, but in the prediction node here, we do not make a remote invocation. Instead, we actually have a set of local rules that has been imported from a PML file um, at a certain earlier time. Looking at these rules, now they are completely transparent. Um, there is about 15, 20 of them in this example. Each one is a regular ADS rule that triggers on ADS data, such as month, duration of the loan, the income of the applicant, the loan amount, and so forth. So collectively, these rules are all triggered or evaluated to make a prediction whether what the risk is of this uh, mortgage application. And in this case, we evaluate all the rules that trigger, and then we do the weighted summary. That gives us the co weighted confidence for how risky this um, mortgage application is. So as you can see, we are not making any remote calls. We are just evaluating and predicting the risk based on a set of rules that has been trained externally of ADS. Now, of course, we can, if we want to, modify these rules here in, in ADS because they are regu regular, readable, and editable ADS rules. So those are the two approaches for predictions now that we have our 2022 release of Automation Decision Services. Let's contrast those and sum up uh, a little bit of some of the details behind them. So as, as before, for the remote ML invocation, we have native support for Watson Machine Learning. That means we can configure and invoke Watson Machine Learning remotely. For all other ML platforms, we have an open prediction service. It's an open API through which you can connect to different types of ML services on the market. So that's design time when you connect to a provider to make a, to, in a specific ML model. You configure that in ADS Designer. Then when you deploy the ML service into our decision sun, runtime, when we evaluate, when we run a decision service, we will also automatically do a remote invocation of the ML model either to Watson ML or through the open prediction service interface. So that's what happened traditionally. 
With our imported rule sets, it looks a little bit different. Again, externally, we train our machine learning model, in this case, resulting in a set of rules. Uh, we import those rules into ADS using a PML format. The ways we have today for generating these rule sets, learning these rules, is that we've added a couple of algorithms for rule learning into our AI Explainability 360 toolkit. That's an open source repository. Those algorithms can be accessed either through a Jupyter Python notebook or through a rule learning interface, interactive rule learning interface called Amy that we're providing as a service. Um, we can also, if you have other statistical tools or predictive modeling environments through which you can generate rule sets, you can also use those because we use the standard predictive modeling markup language uh, to uh, transfer the rules from the rule learning environment into Decision Designer. Once you have imported these rules into ADS, when you deploy your decision service, these rules are just like all other rules, meaning there is no need for a remote invocation. All predictions are made locally, and you have transparency of these predictions, just like you would have if you had crafted these rules by hand. So there are some pros and cons for these approaches. Very high level, if, with a remote model invocation, it's essentially model agnostic. You can use any model type you want, uh, and it it basically appears at the black box. Versus, of course, the rule sets is imported. Those, those rules are readable, modifiable rule sets inside ADS. The lack of constraint or the option of using any type of machine learning model gives you the highest possible accuracy for the remote model invocation versus, of course, we are now imposing that the machine learning model should be represented as a rule set and that is a potential trade-off for transparency over accuracy. Uh, when it comes to explainability, uh, for a black box model, you can use some type of uh, post hoc explainability method, meaning along with your prediction, you can return some explanation for that prediction that is possible to do with the remote model. For the importal rule sets, of course, they are intrinsically explainable because they are readable rules. Uh, perhaps less subtle, you have some options here, but most commonly, with remote model invocation, those remote ML models are governed by a data science life cycle. You have some sort of practice when the new data arrives, retraining the models and redeploying them through some ML ops uh, governance cycle. More likely for the imported rule sets is that you can basically change when to import a new set of rules, maybe coordinate that with development of new business rules you do by hand. So there's a, some options here on how you actually govern the life cycles of these predictions over time. Uh, computationally, if with a remote model, you have, of course, the ADS runtime where the rules are um, evaluated, and you have the machine learning uh, service runtime uh, where, the remote, where the remote ML models are hosted. So you have two runtimes in the first scenario. For the import rule sets, you have a single runtime, which is the decision service of ADS. So those are some of the differences contrasting remote model invocation and imported rule sets in ADS. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye-bye.